Greetings to everyone. Greetings to all live rock gurus. In this tutorial, we are dealing with the recapitalization so that you've got better understanding as to what recapitalization is all about and why companies, why organizations, they embark on this recapitalization exercise and why is it important and and when what causes this recapitalization to happen those are the aspects we are going to deal with in this tutorial Recapitalization is the process undertaken by a business entity, a company, a firm, an organization in restructuring, underline, in restructuring its debt to equity ratio. Basically, it's a, it's a process which is undertaken by these uh, business entities with the aim of restructuring their debt to equity ratio. This debt to equity ratio restructuring seems to be taking a center stage here. Really, it seems to be taking a center stage in this recapitalization issue and we are get, going to get to the bottom of this recapitalization the recap stay tuned with us you need a little bit of break so that you refresh actually do this restructuring now that we we know what recapitalization is all about what you how how, we, how is this thing done so the answer is it is simple this remodeling this restructuring of the company's debt to equity ratio is done either one by adding more debt to capital, two, or by adding more equity to capital. As you know that you can raise debt capital, taking a loan either from a funder or funders, taking the loan from lenders, taking the loan from banks and any other financial institution that is prepared to give you the loan. So, so you can raise this debt capital to be able to add it as part of restructuring. Or you can raise, you can add the equity capital as I've indicated which means the equity capital will be coming from shareholders. So which means those who are prepared to cut owners or to be owners of this particular business venture. So basically it's about adding more of the debt to the capital or more of the equity to the capital and you also as i've indicated those will be the sources of debt those will be the sources of equity to this uh, particular capital
we have got a long way to go with respect to this recapitalization. This debt to equity ratio is basically a financial ratio indicating the relative proportion of shareholders' equity to debt of the business entity, the firm, or the company. So it's basically a financial ratio which is indicating the relative proportion of the shareholder's equity to debt. Hence, it is a debt to equity ratio. So this debt to equity ratio, which is the financial ratio, is crucially, is basically a, a very crucial in revamping the financial life of the company. It's basically meant to revamp the financial life of the company. Remember, both equity from shareholders and debt from lenders, funders, are used to acquire to acquire company assets. They are used for companies' day-to-day -day operations. So, if a debt to equity ratio is low, then that tells us, that tells the company that a lower amount of financing the business, which means those uh, assets, operations, is really coming from debt, which means the lower amount of giving life to the business in terms of its operations, asset acquisition, is coming from debt. Then it means that debt received from funders, lenders, compared to the funding from equity investment, which means having this lower debt to equity ratio clearly means uh, indicates that there's lesser amount that is coming from debt versus the funding that is coming from equity capital which means the, the, the funding that is coming from, from shareholders, owners of the company. By just looking at how low the debt to equity ratio is, we'll deal with the, how uh, these issues of uh, debt to equity and also putting figures there. When we are dealing now with all these uh, types of There are eight reasons for recapitalization. We will list them. I think this tutorial is, has been the longest of them all. The first reason, it is because the, the, the company or the firm or the business entity can embark on this recapitalization for the mere reason of getting itself into financial distress, into financial difficulties. That is number one. Number two, because of the likelihood of bankruptcy, if the company can see that really now we are getting there, bankruptcy is looming, then they can opt looming, then they can opt for recapitalization. 
the third one because probably the share price will go down you know in the financial market space in those uh, stock exchanges it, it normally happens sometimes that the share price will go down the share price will improve but if the, the company realizes that no the share price has gone down and is going down it can opt for 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 this uh, exercise of recapitalization in that case it will be swapping equity for for debt then number four to be able to to honor its financial obligations in order to pay its obligations as required so the company can go for can opt for recapitalization number five the company can opt for recapitalization if it wants to reduce the amount of interest that it is paying out to to its bondholders probably to make an example so if it wants to reduce those uh, interest payments you can go for recapitalization that is also another reason then number six it might be because of the issue of the hostile environment or hostile acquisition i will i will, I will explain more about this issue on a, on a separate tutorial number seven the company might probably need to minimize the accrual risks that might be there the risks that might accrue over time and say let's go for a cap and number eight the company might need really to improve its overall liquidity as we indicated on our previous tutorials that when we refer to liquidity we refer to the ease of conversion of assets securities to to cash so those are the eight reasons as to why the company can opt to go for recapitalization let me go through all of them quickly and again because of the financial distress financial difficulties number one number two because of the likelihood of bankruptcy number three because of the share price fall number four because of trying to honor financial obligations payment obligations number five because it would love to in reduce interest payments number six because of hostile acquisition number seven because it, it would love to minimize the accrual of risks number eight and the last one because of the overall improvement uh, live rock gurus i am sure you are all ears should you wish to be a live rock guru make use of the contact details below this tutorial video contact us on our emails websites mobile numbers we'll be waiting for you at any moment these tutorials are for everyone and ensure that you take notes they are meant for everyone students executives officials business people they are meant for everyone should, should you wish to make use of our advanced holistic business consulting services make use of the contact details below this tutorial video and please subscribe and please 
subscribe like